Hey guys, and welcome back to Mario. When we last left off, we finally got to uh, Bowser's Castle World. I think it's just Bowser's World, but kind of looks like a heck of a fortress, don't you think? Anyway, let's go. Spiky Spike Bridge. I think we're going to use um, Princess Peach for this, just because. Now, this one... Oh, wait a minute... We want cat power for this idealistically, but I think we're going to find cat power here soon. Now, the rub with this one is spikes, as you can see. <laughs> spikes are bad, okay? Spikes are very bad, okay? But that's okay. I do like this rain effect on this level. Adds like a nice bit of atmosphere to it. Oh, get out of here, drive bones. Honestly, who do you think you're trying to trifle with? Certainly not I. Right, so we've got some... Now the great thing about Peach is we can just jump over here. Got some coins. We do like our coins around these parts. Coins mean lives. Ah, oh, hello. Well, hopefully we're not going to get too much business from this guy. Oh, hell. Coming in hot. Yeah, run, jump, pray. <laughs> we're not slave to any god around here. Run! Okay, that's fine. Now this... Should be the first star. Good, it is. <laughs> I was going to say, I hope it's the first star. Otherwise, well, we've already gone wrong. This early into the video. Alright. Out of it. Now, I think if we time this right... We can... Yep, just jump straight over. Which is pretty badass. Don't want these dry bones... Messing up, up whilst we're onto a winner. Ooh. Definitely don't want to get a spike in the ass from that either. Not particularly. Uh, right, okay. I think we're good. I don't think we've missed anything yet. Which would be good. Ooh. Nope. Now we can go. Watch these uh, dodgy spikes of death. You run into those, you're going to have a bad time. But that's okay. Oh god, that's n almost not okay. Uh, sure, we'll have another cat power. We like cat powers around here. Oh shit, certainly is the more efficient way of getting things done. Cats do everything efficiently. Uh, that's not good. At least cats do everything that cats do efficiently. You know... Eating and sleeping, really. Ah, and breaking stuff. Yes, eating, sleeping, and breaking stuff. That is the cat Cree. Right, let's just dodge through here. And hopefully, get ourselves invincibility. <laughs> yes, now who holds the power? Undead Skurs. Yes. Excellent. Well, we shall take that life. Now we just need the final star. Alright. Careful. Nice. Good enough. Ah, shit. And that's me looking at the star counter. And not what's actually going on. And a second time. Would you believe it? Yes, I guess you would. Oh, no. No, no, no. I was just about to say. We missed the stamp. But we didn't. We did, um... I'm not that useless, I say with utmost confidence. Okay. Oh, I didn't notice Peach uh, actually gets wet from water. I didn't realise that. That's actually not a bad little effect. Hey, and we got dry bones. At least I think those guys are called dry bones. I don't know if it makes a difference that they're the flying variety. So, what are we going to get? Two choices. Alright. Well, before we make any rash decisions, we've got Cookie... Oh, Cookie Cogworks. Ah, this one. You know what? Let's do this one. This one can take multiple tries. Because it's not hard per se, but to get all of the collectibles, it can be. Back to our good old friend, Bessie. Or Blessie. 
All right, let's ride. Now this is a little bit of an asshole. There's the green star directly ahead, but to get the green star, yep, you just you have to hit that just right. And it's actually quite a lot harder than you would think to do that. It's certainly taken me a good few tries. This might have to be done with the power of editing, but we'll, we'll give it another go. We'll give it another go. Right, slow, slow. Yep, too slow. Yep, too slow. Oh, God damn it! So you kind of need to time this sort of right. You want that boingy guy coming back just as you're approaching, which I, I think there is a little bit of luck involved. Because, there we go. Hit him. Beautiful. Good stuff. Yeah, that is a bit of a bugger to get that right, to be honest. But that's fine. Now, let's boost on through to the other start. Oh, right. Yeah, that was sketch. But we did it. We did it. Now, bail on through to get the stamp. Now, the last star is actually hidden. And it took me ages to find when I was playing this originally. And it's in this Bowser statue. You need to like open that up. And then that will spawn the final star. And man, <laughs> we did that. That went way smoother than I thought it was gonna go. I'm gonna be honest. I thought that was gonna be really difficult. All right, I'll see you later, bless you. There's a couple of items back there that we could have got, like a shroom, but we don't really need them. I say with confidence. Because we should get the power-ups we need on the next level. Alright. Not bad, Peach. Not bad. Start calling this the Super Peach Bros. I mean, she is the best character that we have. But we do, believe it or not, get some extra characters later on. At least so far that I've been playing it, we get one extra carrier. Hey, and we can gamble. Excellent. We like gambling in the Mario Kingdom. Let's see if we can get that elusive quad. I'm going to say probably not. Nope. This ain't it, Chief. Hey, we got three. Oh, baby, a triple. We'll have a triple. Three up. Not bad. Don't mind a triple. Okay, cool. So, let's go and deal with Cookie Cogworks. This is quite a fun mission, actually. Quite a fun one. It's not very long, from what I can remember, but it's got a couple of little tricky bits. Oof. Definitely don't want to get spiked in the ass by those guys. Not if we can help it. And I really like these kind of sweet slash cake. Like, I don't know, what would you call them? Confectionery style levels. I don't know, there's something just really cool about them. I think the first time I really noticed them was... I want to say Super Mario Sunshine. I don't know if they were in, uh, in Mario games before that. Honestly can't remember. Maybe in some of the earlier 2D Mario games. Maybe. Which I never really had a huge amount of exposure to those growing up. It was always Sonic. And I guess, well, who won that battle, way? <laughs> to think how much of a Sonic fan I used to be. Oh, Jesus. There comes a point where you just have to say, you know what, it's time to move on. Right, what we've got going on down here, I think we're okay for a while. Let's go across these cookies. Or biscuits, as we would call them. Over in these parts of the world. These are infested biscuits, though. They've got some fungus growing out of them. I wouldn't want to try any of these. These big spicy boys. Oh man. Really missing my cat suit right about now. 
That's okay. We can handle this. We have the dexterity of a thousand cats in our very soul. Or something. Okay. Could have been better, but... Ooh, there's the stamp. Which is nice. We've just got to murder all of these spiky ants. Oh, sweet. I'll have that. Hey, you see the little Mario come up. We like that. Um, Alright, that was almost bad. <laughs> kind of tempted to kill the last one, but you know what? We'll let him live. He can go tell the rest of his nest. No, he can't. He can die. I was going to say, he would leave one survivor to tell the others what they've witnessed here today. She's not exactly um, <laughs> ruling with kindness here. Ruling with an iron boomerang. Which is fair. Alright, let's go. Oh, this one. Yeah, this one is fairly straightforward. I say. Nope, we got it, we got it, we got it, we good, we good. Oof. That was sketch. That came way too close, if you ask me. That's fine. Oh, God. Now, where was the last... star? Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. The last... Oh, I remember, actually. The last star is quite interesting. There it is. Well, it's down there, anyway. Again, this took me quite a while to work out how you get this. You don't want to get the... the flag. Don't want to get the flag. We got the flag. The sigh. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's annoying. Right, well, no matter. We shall go back in and grab it. Okay. Oof. Managed it that time. So what you want to do here, it doesn't look like super obvious, because if you try and jump over there, you're going to die. But if you take a running jump as Peach, you can actually make it over there. Definitely recommend doing that as Peach, because she's got that extra kind of like jump height. Or at least jump distance, which really does make a lot of difference. I lost so many lives trying to get over there. Now, this last wabbit has a oh, star. Come here, git. Let me throw my magic returning stick at you until you die from it. And come on now, Mr. Rabbit. You are going to be going in the pot if you keep giving me trouble. Ooh, almost. You little git. Honestly, I've never had this much trouble with this rabbit before. There we go, we got him. Ah. <sighs> Give me that. Alright, cool. Well, that was uh, long-winded, but that's fine. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Oof. Okay, not quite the top, but that's fine. Alright. Now, unfortunately, I've got to go to work tomorrow, which I'm really salty about. I have to go... I'm on holiday, but I have to go into work for one day. Ugh. I suppose it's not bad. Could be worse. Right, so what we got? What we looking at? What we looking at? Uh, so next... Ah, the train. This level... Yeah. This one's quite a pain. It's 100%. Well, it's not that hard, but it can be quite fiddly. Quite a fun level, to be fair. <laughs> But, yeah, you got to be on the ball. Okay. First thing we want to do is run like a mofo. Grab as many coins as we can, because lives, yo. Oof. Give me that. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Uh, you know what? Sure. We'll take flower power. For now. And let's keep moving. Unfortunately, these little gits are going to cause us problems. But that's okay. We'll just roast them nice and well. Now, do we have anything in here? No. Just coins. Oh, actually. 
We should have... Oh! I didn't even see what happened there. I didn't even realise we had fallen off and died. God damn it! Okay, okay. That's fine. Everything is fine. Let's try that again with a little bit less failure. Oof! That was too much failure. Okay. Things are going spectacularly wrong. I don't know if that's a thing. But I guess it certainly is on this channel. Right, what we actually do want to do is let's get all the coins out of this one. And it turns into a coin block. I forgot about that. Alright. See you guys later. Oh, right. Also, what we want to do is go around this enclosure here. So if you fall inside, well, it gets a little bit tricky. It's not too bad, but if we don't need to bother with it, we won't. Oof. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Give me the start. Excellent. Let's go. Let's keep going. Now up and over onto this block here. Can we? Ah, oh, just missed it. You can see the stamp up in the corner there. It's really, really fiddly to get though. Because quite often, you can't actually see the stamp when you've got there. So you've got to kind of just like run around and hope for the best. Yeah, not my favorite. You know what? I want the power up. Definitely want that power up. Just because we need it to murder. Needed to murder. And that's good enough reasoning for me. Nice. Always want the coins. Extra coins mean we can replace those lives. You know, not that we're really in danger of running out of lives or anything silly like that. Now, I guess we don't need to get that again. So we won't. Let's get as much time to get this as possible. There we go. That'll work. That will work nicely. Now, what are we on? Ah, okay. Perfect. So, let's finish this off. Oh, God. Ah, <laughs> oh, seriously? Seriously? Right, let's try that without so much failure this time. Kind of annoyed that I died there, actually, but come on. Anyway, there is actually a little secret here. We jump over there. Now, getting this is a bit dodgy. You can see that hidden block there. Let's see if we can get it. Oh, for some reason... There we go. I had it in my head that we got something extra for doing that. Maybe it's further on. Or maybe. Maybe it's a different game. Huh. Who knows. Anyway. Careful. Careful. Whew. That was stressful. Anyway. Guess who's back. Well, we're not having any of her nonsense this time. Ah, uh, looks like we can't actually hit her with the fireball, sadly. You can with the boomerang. The boomerang power, really, actually does kill her pretty quick as well. Come on, baby. Boink. Get out of here. You are done. There we go. Oof. Quite a fun one. I do like those train levels. Right, another world in Bowser's Domain Falls. Excellent. Careful, Peach. Right, let's go. Uh, uh, we're on 20 minutes. Should we leave it there? I think we better leave it there in the interest of saving time. Can't just remember what the next level is.
What's the next level? Uh... <laughs> oh, that that one's harsh. Oh, that level's rough. Oh man. Oh man. You know, let's just do this one. Why not? Footlight Lane. Yeah, this one is interesting. It's not quite as tough as it seems, but you can certainly see on this world the game starts to take its gloves off just a little bit. That's okay. Now you can see this is a perfect sort of level to have lots of secrets and hidden uh, stars and whatnot. Luckily, I think I remember where they all are. Right, there's one. Let's go grab the star man and go put an end to this undead scourge. This plague. Can we? Oh, not quite. Not quite enough. That's disappointing. But whatever. Doesn't matter. There will be more time to cleanse this undead filth from the kingdom. Okay, not bad. So we've got one. Got one star. Yeah, the next star is just coming up, actually. Maybe they're not quite as hidden as I thought they were. Right, careful now, Peach. Tippy toes. Definitely want to be on tippy toes. That's okay. Right, there we go. Oh, you son of a bitch. Had to happen. Literally had to happen. Alright, cool. That's still number two. Oh, I think one of these contains a power-up, actually. If memory serves. Which it may do. It does. Sick. Alright. Now, if you butt stamp, you can cause this road to appear. And I'm pretty, there we go, pretty sure. Aha, the stamp. Perfect. Oh, God. And say, I know we can drift in the air, but we can't kind of float that far. And now, last star coming up. Just, just keep moving. Ooh. Oh, Jesus. Damn it, Peach. That was close. Ah, oh, this one. Yep, so up. Not too bad, especially if you got that. If you got the boomerang, man, you can cover a lot of, lot of mistakes. It really is useful for picking items up. Probably. My second favorite power up in this game, actually. By quite a long shot. I mean, Flower Power was cool, but it definitely ain't the star of the show. Ooh, Jesus. Um, anymore. Not like it used to be. Back on the 2D games, whenever you got the Flower Power, it's like, you know. Made the game so much easier. <laughs> At least with the uh, originals, anyway. Like the first couple. Okay. Right, I think we're going to leave this one here, guys. Because we're out of time. For now. When we come back, well, I reckon we're going to finish the rest of this world off. Although, how many? There's one. I don't think that's a world. Two. Three. Yeah, we should be able to finish this world. Ah, oh, wait, hang on. Because you get two more worlds there, don't you? Yeah. Well, maybe not. We'll see. We'll see how we go. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.